Grabe naman. Hi, kyo wa Filipino style ramen o tsukurimashou. In this video, I will show you how to make Filipino ramen. You can also make this simple ramen recipe in the Philippines. We start this recipe by making a bone broth and I'm using the chicken feet. Adidas, diba? This has been boiling for 24 hours. This has two liters of water, okay? And one kilo of chicken feet or chicken bones. We're gonna remove the pot and we're gonna sift it. We're gonna use this bowl and a strainer. I'm pouring the chicken broth in. Again, just uh, using water and chicken bones. There's no need to add any salt or spices or anything else, just water and chicken bones, okay? This is how it looks the next day. So I transferred it to this container. And you see the texture, right? It's really gelatinous. This is full of collagen. We finished the first step, the ramen broth, okay, the chicken broth. And now we're gonna do the second step, which is the flavored oil. Flavored oil is just like the word says, oil with flavor. <laughs> so you just put uh, some oil in a pan. We'll take uh, one onion and two cloves of garlic. All you need to do is cut the onion and garlic in tiny pieces and add it to the oil. And after that you turn the heat on, okay? So don't turn the heat on first, but just add it to the cold oil and then heat it up. We're not gonna make this too hot because otherwise it will get bitter. So we're just gonna, we just wanna extract the flavor. So don't really make it too hot and approximately 10 minutes or so is enough. Low heat. We're sifting the oil. This finishes our second step, the flavored oil. You might wonder why Filipino style ramen, because ramen is Japanese, right? But what we will do is we, we're gonna make a chicken adobo uh, with chicken thighs. And all, like I said, all the ingredients of the ramen um, are Filipino ingredients. So you can also buy them in the Philippines and make it yourself. But for one of the toppings, we're gonna make chicken adobo, okay? I'm gonna use these fresh chicken thighs. We'll cut it a little bit, but not too small. We'll marinate the chicken, uh, the chicken thighs with some black pepper, white vinegar, kunting asukal, some soy sauce. We'll massage it a little bit. And that's our adobo. So look who's there. We have a visitor. Poggy! Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of cooking oil. We'll add the bawang first. Sibuya! Sibuyas! <laughs> Manok! Woo! Maini! It was a little bit maini. We'll cover the chicken and then we're gonna make our ajitama, which is a soft boiled eggs. I'm boiling water. And I have a pin here. I'm gonna make a hole in the egg. Bottom of the egg, okay? Boiling water. It's very important to wait till the water is really boiling. And then we're gonna add the eggs carefully. We're gonna boil it for six minutes. The water is boiling. I usually put it on a spoon when I put it in the water and then just carefully put the egg in. One, two, three. And then we'll stir the eggs. Okay, keep stirring for about one minute. Keep stirring and make sure to set a timer. 
So one minute of stirring and then another five minutes for boiling. That was the timer, so I'm getting the eggs out and putting them in cold water, okay? Optional is to marinate these eggs, but we're gonna keep it simple today. Simple lang, okay? So no maarti. <laughs> Please try to make this ramen recipe at home, okay? You can, you, you can make it in the Philippines using local ingredients. Use the Pinoy Planet hashtag and let me know how it goes, okay? Boil your favorite pancit canton or instant noodles or ramen like uh, Lucky Ako or Lucky Ikao. <laughs> it's time to heat up our chicken broth, okay? So I'm gonna put it in the pan and just warm it up. I made the chicken broth using this uh, slow cooker or crock pot, which is really nice and handy. Uh, you just turn it on on a low setting and it, it's boiling for 24 hours. But it's very easy because you don't need to look at it anymore. Of course, if you don't have a crock pot like this, you can also use a regular pan, but make sure to keep watching it, okay? and you can boil it, uh, you don't need to boil it for 24 hours, it's very long. You can also use uh, maybe six to eight hours or even four hours to make a really nice chicken stock, okay? Now the five steps to make a delicious ramen, okay? Here's the flavored oil that we make. So this is the first step, flavored oil, okay? I'm adding about uh, seven to 10 ml. Next is a tablespoon of soy sauce. You can use a tata putti. I'm using one with calamansi, but you can also use a regular one. Add the chicken broth. Noodles. It smells great already. Now I'm gonna add the toppings, the fun part. Be creative with it. I'm gonna add the chicken adobo that I made. And again, these are chicken thighs. Our eat look at maraming spring onions. Grabe naman. And that's how to make a Filipino style ramen. Let's have a look at the eat look. You see, it's very soft and yummy. Mmm, sarap naman, yummy. Oh, the soup is really nice. It has a good flavor. You can really taste the manok. And I'm gonna try a little bit of the uh, adobo. Mmm, mmm, yummy. It is absolutely delicious. In this video, I showed you how to make Filipino ramen and you can do it yourself at home. Let me know how it goes, okay? You can use the Pinoy Planet hashtag. And thank you so much for watching. Maraming salamat po. See you next time with more Filipino food.